Assalamu alaikum everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you're having a great day. In today's video, we are talking about PPG. This is one of the companies that I own in my portfolio. This company um, is a global supplier of paints, coatings, and special materials. They have basically they operate in 70 different countries. And as you can see right now, they are down 25% since beginning of the year. And this is one of the reasons I thought I need to talk about this company and I need to. And sometimes I do these videos not just for you. I do it for myself as well just to do the research because I own the company. I think I own about 10 shares. I haven't done anything to it for a long time because I felt like it was overvalued. But right now I need to look at it again and just see if I can actually add to this company. So let's have a look at it together. The first thing I want to show you is their earnings report. So they've just reported a couple of days ago. So as you can see in terms of EPS, they actually beat that. In terms of their revenue, they actually beat that as well. Okay. And one of the things they talked about was organic sales grew basically growth of 8%. Now this is really important for this company. When I say organic, we're talking about organic sales. Basically, we're talking about the products the company made. Okay, so they make these products, so they've sold it, not because of they acquired another business. Because this company, I will show you in a second, they love to buy smaller businesses and to add to their portfolio. Okay, so it's really interesting to see that this is actually happening. But also, the other thing that's happening is the they having a lot of issues with the raw material costs. Okay, so it's up almost basically twenty percent a year over year. So energy and transportation costs is also elevated right now. Let me quickly show you what I'm talking about. So this they've highlighted this in their earnings report. So if you're interested, you can look at that. So in terms of raw materials availability, um, Q two three of 2021. It was basically they had a severe shortage, but is now improving. So the outlook is actually better. It's getting better for especially things like the COVID labor. Um, basically, was the, the there's a minimum impact on that. So things are improving, okay. But obviously, they still they've just reported Q2 and Q2 looks nice, but Q3 is hopefully should be better. But there are still issues with raw materials. There are still issues with the fact that there's some ports that are still conjected because there's so much going on. There's so many companies that have not basically still received their products because of what's happening in the ports and so on. So yeah, there are some improvements, but obviously in the long run, I think um, maybe next two quarters, it might still be in recovery mode instead of just making. But I like the fact that they are in, on track when it comes to, they actually beat there. And this was actually unexpected from the analyst side of things. So they were not expecting this company to be their earnings and based in terms of the EPS, in terms of revenue, which is very nice to see. But there are still, we're not out of the woods yet. So let's have a look at uh, one more thing. And one of the things I was talking about now is this bit here. So balance cash and deployment. So this company makes their money and then what do they do? They actually capital basically they invest in the company. They acquire more businesses. They pay you dividends and they basically pay buy back their shares. So in the last 10 years, okay, they've done capital spending of 18%. They acquired basically they made acquisitions, for example, 37% which is very, very high. And this is one of the reasons I said I'm quite happy to see that 8% organic growth, okay, just the last quarter, which is really nice. Dividends, you can see about 17% um, was the, the dividends and the share repurchase was 28%. Okay, so this is nicely distributed. And this is what you want to see from the companies that you own. You want to see them spending that money wisely, okay? Either buy back their shares when the shares are cheap Okay, I don't like when they buy their shares when the company is basically the stock price is very, very expensive. Dividends, I love those. Okay, and when you look at it right now, okay, you can also see the approximate 2021 cash use. Almost a two billion of that will be basically an acquiring other businesses. Okay, the capital expenditure is 35 million, 210 million will be for the share buybacks. And then dividends has actually been increased. 
And that's another thing they've done now. They've actually increased their dividends 5% just this week. So another great thing to see. Okay, so this is one of the reasons I love this type of business. And because of the accusations they've made recently, they've actually readjusted. So they've increased their earnings projection as well as the pro the margins so their margins are basically going to grow um, improve better then um, you know grow further as well as the overall earnings so this is another great thing to see so this is the type of business i like to invest in so let's have a look at the in terms of the overall um metrics financial metrics of this business okay as i said is in the material sector okay so they do all the paintings and the coatings and so on Price right now is $127 per share. EPS, this is really important. So the EPS this year is $4.56, right? The next year is doubling, almost $4 more than where it is right now. Okay, market cap is only $30 billion. It has a narrow economic mode and it's slightly um, higher than one when it comes to beta, okay? PE is very, very high right now, which tells me maybe it's still expensive, okay? When it comes to the sector, the material sector, we're looking about 8 PE of 8, okay? That's a very low multiple. And when you look at this company, we're looking about 28. I have not seen this company go below 28 for a long, long time. Price to free cash flow, we're looking, is very high because they don't have a lot of cash right now. They've got enough to pay off the dividends and increase it, but they don't have enough to. So for that reason, price to free cash flow is actually quite low. So dividend yield, 1.85%, five-year growth rate of 8%, dividend, and now, like I said, they've actually increased it just this week, 5%, and I'll show you that in a second. Dividend growth streak, 50 years. So they have increased this dividend for 50 years, non-stop. Payout ratio, we're looking at about 51%. So again, they have room to improve that. Dividend safety, 93%. So dividends are definitely safe because they do have enough cash to pay that off. The five-year growth rate in terms of their revenue is not actually great because of where the company was in the last few, basically five to 10 years. But right now, it looks like the company is actually coming back because of the, all the accusations they've, they've made. It looks like the company is heading the right directions and I'm sure this will definitely improve in the next five to 10 years. Five-year and EPS growth, we're looking about almost 13%, which is very nice. Profit margin, only 6%. Operating margins, we're about 7 Okay, return on equity. And we're looking about oh, above 15 okay? This is one of those situations where I broke my own rules and I bought a company that whose profits are not great at the moment, but based on the projections, okay, in the future. So I'm betting on the future of this business in the next couple of, um, maybe next 5 to 10 years. Total return in the last 10 years, we're looking about 10%. And current ratio, we're looking above 1, which is good, okay? So in terms of the analyst, what they're thinking right now, according to Yahoo Finance, the business is going to grow, the earnings is going to grow about 12%. And this is what I'm betting on. Normally, 12% is quite high for a company that's been around, you know, for a very long time and has is basically as a dividend king. So normally that's quite high, but it's nice to see that. Maybe because of the all the companies they added to their portfolio recently, that is, was helping them. According to simply Wall Street, is 36% undervalued at the moment, and their price target is $201 per share. Morningstar is saying 14% premium and their price target is only $113 per share, right? Tip rank is saying basically 14%, almost 15% upside. Their price target is 147 Yahoo Finance is 147 And according to tip rank, it's actually moderate buy. And I do agree with that, okay? I will not be jumping straight away buying this huge, basically, um, portion of this company yet, Okay, I want to see at least the price to drop at least to say 110 or below that. If that happens, then I'm loading up. But right now, I'm going to keep dollar cost averaging, okay, because of the where the company is heading. And I'll be honest with you, when you look at the historic PE, I've not seen this company come down below this. So it's that's quite normal for this company. So I'll definitely, one that I'm going to keep an eye on, I'm going to add it to my watch list in the next few weeks and then see what happens. So if the overall market goes down and because they have a quite high beta, okay, above one, they normally tend to go down when the market is down like 5%, 2%, they're down like about 25 to 3%, right? So 
if the markets go on the you know to the south the next few weeks then i'm definitely gonna keep an eye on this and start adding to it because it's the quality business and i like the fact that they are heading the right directions when you look at their overall projections and things like that and the accusations that they've made in the last few years what that has done to the business okay i'm definitely interested in this business i'm gonna keep adding to it in the next few weeks and just to be transparent i just want to quickly show you where is ppg um there we go there we go okay so i right now i own 10 shares of this company okay and then i will be sharing with um yeah i'll sh i'll be doing a portfolio update very soon so i don't want to go through this some of the stocks in there but there we go there you go so i've got 10 shares of this business right now my price is actually um, 134 but what's helping me right now is the fx okay if that wasn't there i would have been probably in in the in the red right now so that's why i'm i don't mind buying more because it's actually my price and the average price is 134 right now we're looking at 127 so i don't mind adding a couple of more shares in the next few weeks that's ppg that is a dividend king that's definitely looks interesting right now and the fact that they are down for the year 25 percent we might not see that opportunity again if it goes down be even further than that then i'm definitely adding more to this company um yeah i hope you enjoyed the video if you are enjoying this content and this type of videos please 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 give the videos a like have a wonderful day assalamu alaikum